Brian Brown. Uh, originally, I've lived in Tipton all my life. I'm currently president of South Georgia Devils Incorporated, Pop Warner organization. Um, this is just something we've been dreaming of, dreaming of doing a long time now. Um, it's a great thing for us to do for the kids, basically. That's the most important thing. Um, this organization is all about building character, uh, building young men and women, uh, teaching them the correct way to speak, teaching them the correct way to carry themselves. Um, we have a great scholastic program attached to our organization where we would love to have kids who actually have to have a 2.0 grade point average to actually play or actually cheerlead. But we also take kids who have grade point averages that are less than that. But we're not just going to take those kids and, you know, not help help them. We, we want to be able to show those kids, you know, how much we care, and uh, then how important school is, and how much how much important everything else besides Pop sports is. Scholars is more than football. It, it it takes it takes what a kid can accomplish and should accomplish, and and makes them achieve that goal. Uh, we take and we focus on their their schooling. Uh, we focus on their home life, uh, their after school, and, and anything that that contributes to that kid growing as a person as an adult some of these kids don't female. have people in their life after school their parents aren't there they're work till 12 one o'clock in the morning that's where we come in as an organization is to actually be like a big brother or, or a father figure to these kids and uh, build values and, and and build these kids characters into something that they couldn't achieve pop one of those scholars is something that we've tried to do for three to five years now um, it, it's something that, that the rec department doesn't get involved with. They don't get involved with these kids after football. When the kids play for a rec department, and, and I'm not talking bad about them, but when they play for a rec department, they're not involved in these kids' life outside of football or outside of cheer. That's where we come in. We try to teach these kids the, the right way to do things and the morals and stuff that come along with it. Not just it's okay to have bad grades or it's okay to be bad outside of the rec department or whatever because we actually check in on these kids all the time. They have to keep their stuff up and keep their grades and keep their attitude in check. And that's where we come in. That's why we want to do pop water because these kids here have nothing like this. you got travel baseball, but you don't have travel. Girls can play football as well. They can cheer, whatever they want to do. We're not going to discriminate against a girl if she wants to play football. we got girls right now that can throw a football 40 yards and they can run faster than these guys. So we're not going to discriminate against a female wanting to play football. And she's not going to be put in a position that she is not going to achieve what she wants to do. She'll be put where she's best. And if anybody wants to learn it. more about USA football, we actually have a heads up camp coming on July the 24th from 8.30 to 12 out here at the Y uh, over here by the pool. Um, we're going to be running through the drills, the skills, and everything that they taught up there in Atlanta for the USA heads up football camp. And the parents, we want the parents to be involved just as much as we want the kids to be involved. Yes. Because we believe that if a parent knows the proper way that that they can learn more about what the football is about and what we're about instead of just thinking that we're out here to make money. Because we are a nonprofit organization. We're here for the kids and for the community. And so if we could teach these kids the proper way to tackle and not get hurt, I believe the parents would be more apt to... Uh, have their kids. The play. camp is free. The food will be free. We'll have several different um, uh, spots for the kids to learn different heads-up drills. Uh, we'll actually have uh, tables for the uh, kids to, and the parents to speak to the uh, the league uh, president, uh, Daniel Cruz, over in uh, Lee County. Uh, he'll be over here. Uh, we'll have other coaches and uh, players from other uh, areas that play for the league. They'll be over here helping out with the heads-up course. Uh, and it's just something for everybody to. To join in. Give them a chance to learn more about Pop Warner football, too. Right, right? sir. Exactly. And, the and, more you learn about Pop Warner, the more you're going to want to be involved with Pop Warner. Um, when I first started studying about Pop Warner, uh, Pop Warner, it was something that I knew about and I knew that it was a good thing, but I didn't know how good it was. I didn't know about the scholarship programs that Pop Warner offers. I didn't know about all these little um, ins and outs of Pop Warner until a year ago we started. They can go to uh, popwarnerlittlescholars.com. At the top of the page, there's uh, links on everything about football, how it got started, what it's about, 
all the heads up. Pop Warner is the only organization that is mandatory for you to be USA. We heads also up have a a fan page on Facebook that you can go in there and, and look up. It's under South Georgia Devils Incorporated. So, in, any questions, any whether it's negative or positive, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever anybody wants to know about it, feel free to contact us. Um, call us at any time. Email us at any time. And Your contact we, information is on the page, right? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. And my name is Rusty Vaughn. I'm the vice president of the South Georgia Devils Incorporated. Uh, we are co-founders of the organization together. Um, if you have any questions, any information, uh, you can contact us. Uh, like I said, my name is Rusty. My phone number is 229-402-3120. My number is 229-472-4685. You know, we would just love for everyone to kind of grab a hold of this, man. It's really something very positive. And most of the time, positive things, you know, you, you can't do nothing but, but migrate to it, you know. It's, first of all, it's about God, then it's about family, and then it's about football. It's about community. Of course, it's about community. I mean, if you don't, if you can't get your community involved, then, then what's it about? I mean, you want to have everybody in the community take part in something that, that's extraordinary like Pop Warner. Um, you know, it's a travel football. I mean, these kids have a chance to go to Orlando, Florida and play in the Pop Warner Super Bowl down there at Wild World We're not Sports. only covering Tiff County. We're covering Turner County. We're covering Worth County. We're going to cover Barron County, Cook County. Any of these counties that want to be involved are more than welcome to come and, and, and get with us and ask us questions. We'll be glad to try to help anybody we can because Pop Warner is just something just positive and we want all the counties uh, the to be involved. Warner, the South Georgia Pop Warner Lake has teams in Leesburg, Albany, they have like three teams in Albany, Georgia, one in Leesburg, Georgia, one in uh, Moultrie, and one in uh, they have what different level? age groups. They have between five, they got an age group of five, six, and seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, twelve, and then eleven, twelve. Yes, there 13. are weight limits. The weight limits are categorized by the age groups. Like the five, six, and seven, just for instance, the age group, the weight is 35 to 70 pounds. You cannot play any any heavier or any lighter. If your kid is not weighing that group, you cannot play. Well, you're, there, there's three different groups. For there's different age groups. You got a 75 to 105 pounds. You got a 90 pound to 120 pound, and then you got the 105. That's unlimited. It's you have to go with nine and ten. A possible 11 year old kid can play for that group if he weighs in their weight category. So. It, it, it depends because you got some 11 year old kids that don't meet the weight requirements for the at, 11, the, uh, 12, at the USA years. football heads up uh, camp here at the Y. We'll all be having a registration held here uh, at a booth or at a table. Um, if you have, I mean, any we can answer any questions or any any concerns you have about the thing. And if you so, if you'd like to register, please okay, come talk. So to that us. camp is an excellent opportunity to get information out there. It's free. No reason not to bring your child out here to learn something, but at the same time gather information about the program that you guys are. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, people don't realize uh, heads up football is not, I mean, when you use heads up, it's not just about football. Soccer can get concussions, so they teach the proper stuff on that. Uh, any sport could use this kind of training to their advantage. So, I mean, if even if you play baseball, bring your kid out to this USA camp. You can, you might learn something right. that helps you free. in the future. <laughs> you know, it's an opportunity to come out and have a good time. That's what I would say. The kids come out and have a good time, get a little exercise in, learn some things. And like you said, as well as the parents, and let's go from there. I mean, it's, like I said, it's all about the kids, man.